I'd like to repeat something I said in the EVU mini course on range. Every car has a finite supply of onboard fuel and therefore every car has limited range. But because gas stations are everywhere, there's no worry when the fuel gauge of an internal combustion engine vehicle approaches E. Unless, of course, you're on a desolate road far from civilization and your fuel gauge shows empty. Where's the next gas station, you ask yourself nervously. Can I get to there before I run out of fuel? The emotion you feel in situations like that is called range anxiety. For EVs, it's the sometimes irrational fear that you'll run out of charge and your EV will come to a dead stop. The big questions are these. Is range anxiety something that haunts every EV driver? Is it something to get wound up about? Is it something that should dissuade you from buying an EV? These questions can be answered dispassionately based on facts that look at average driving patterns and information about your specific driving profile. But first, a quick review of the concept we call range. In an earlier mini course, we discussed the factors that affect range of an EV. Repeating just one slide from that course, let's be sure you understand range and the things that affect it. Range is the distance you can travel when the EV battery is fully charged. Range is a function of battery capacity measured in kilowatt hours, a specific set of vehicle parameters and their effect on aerodynamic drag, and a specific set of driving conditions, for example, wind direction and velocity, and the driving terrain itself. But let's get back to range anxiety. Why the anxiety? Because there's no place to charge, right? Wrong. Here are a few facts to dispel that notion. There are over 30,000 public charging locations in the United States, in parking garages, shopping malls, RV parks, entertainment locations, hotels, and many other venues. In fact, you can plug in anywhere there's an electric outlet you have permission to use. If you're a Tesla Model S owner, Tesla Motors has over 200 superchargers along interstates, providing Model S owners with free charging on long trips. New ones are being added monthly. For example, you can drive from Miami to New York, San Francisco to Los Angeles, and even more impressive, cross country from Los Angeles to New York in a Model S using superchargers to fuel your trip and do it at no energy cost. There are smartphone apps such as ChargePoint, PlugShare, or Recargo that will find the nearest EV charging location no matter where you are. And remember, you charge your EV at home every night. You wake up every morning and your, your car is full every single day. To understand why range anxiety is certainly not as big a deal as some make it out to be, consider a few additional facts. About 65% of American workers commute no more than 50 miles round trip each day. That's within the range of the Nissan LEAF and laughably easy for the Tesla Model S, both BEVs. Only 8% of commuters have a really long commute of, say, greater than 120 miles round trip. Given these data, let's do some extrapolation. There are about 200 million drivers in the U.S. Most have jobs but many are retired or don't work. Let's assume that 60% are employed and commute daily to work. 65% of those commuters have a drive that is less than 50 miles. Eliminating the others, that still leaves around 78 million commuters, not to mention millions of retired people who could buy an EV and not worry about range anxiety for their daily driving. But there's a bit more to it. Your overall driving patterns also matter. 
Consider these questions. How long is your daily commute along with daily errands? If your commute is only a small part of the miles you drive each day, you'll need more range. How far do you drive for entertainment purposes? If a weekly round trip to the cabin in the woods is 250 miles, you'll need a place to charge your BEV at the cabin and possibly along the way. How far away is your extended family and how often do you visit? If grandma's house is 90 miles away, you'll have to be sure that your EV has appropriate range to get you there and that grandma has a place for you to charge your car once you arrive. Do you take long road trips for vacation, family visits, and the like on routes that don't use the interstate highway system? If you're a family that regularly takes 200 plus mile road trips, a PHEV or a Tesla Model S may be your only option in the short term. Do you have a second internal combustion engine vehicle or a PHEV available for long trips? If the answer is yes, a limited range BEV for commuting is all you'll need. But long trips are becoming increasingly manageable with a BEV. The number of available charging options is growing quickly. Public J1772 chargers can provide a partial recharge in a few hours. Superchargers, if you're a Tesla Model S owner, provide 150 to 170 miles of range in 20 minutes for free. And of course, you can charge at your destination. Your relative's house in another city or state, your place of work, or at an increasing number of hotels to name just a few options. And of course, the big one. One of the major benefits of BEVs is you refuel them at home overnight while you're sleeping. So your EV is full every morning. Unless you travel distances on a regular basis, you'll rarely need recharging sources away from home. That's huge and often gets lost in discussions of range anxiety that always seem to invade the thinking of those who don't own a BEV. In fact, if you think about it for just a moment, it's odd that so many people remain tied to the 20th century fueling station paradigm when a viable, cost-effective alternative exists. Sure, range is an issue, but it's not something that should cause anxiety. In fact, it's a non-issue most of the time and can be managed in the instances when your BEV doesn't have the range you'll need for a long trip. So be calm and carry on.